your weekly movie review by Kid Avanzado, only on Good Morning Heartland. Good morning, it's now time for our entertainment segment, which means we're talking movies with the one and only Kit Alvanzato. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? I'm doing great. So awesome. today we're reviewing a family movie. Yep. We are reviewing How to Train Your Dragon 2. 2. Yeah. Right. So obviously it's a sequel. Mm-hmm. And I hear, I haven't seen the first one, but uh -huh. I heard awesome reviews with the first one. Yep. And I'm hearing awesome reviews, not just from adults, but mm -hmm. little kids about yeah. the second one. And that was a huge part of it, too, because the first one I really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. it, was another it was another movie where, you know, both the kids and the parents can get enjoy it. And this sequel was actually one of the first sequels where it actually surpassed the first movie in almost every single way. Really? Yeah, so I was really surprised, and I really liked the first movie. It's not like the first movie was really terrible. Um, so this movie, the basic concept behind it is, you know, you have the land of Burke, and mm -hmm. basically the Vikings are now no longer fighting the dragons, they're partnering up with them. So the new conflict arises when this, um, this other Viking-type warlord kind of takes over and wants to kind of conquer all the dragons and all the Vikings in general. So just this basic scene of, not scene, but just concept of bloodlust on his part. So um, the movie kind of has multiple themes in it mm -hmm. which really makes it relatable to both parents and kids that's awesome um, the best part about it is you know there's a relationship between you know a, a long lost love between you know a husband and his wife and then also a, fa a father and a son and you know a son and his mother and you know also a uh, a, a newly appointed chief of the clan along with his girlfriend Astrid so it's just there's so many different themes in there that actually make it really relatable but it doesn't get too convoluted or too uh, heavy so yeah to speak. especially yeah. for it being geared mm -hmm. towards kids so oh, yeah. obviously they 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 I would say walk the fine line and did a very well mm -hmm. job mm -hmm. right and the other thing that that really grasps the attention of the kids too is the humor you know mm -hmm. humor is a huge part of movies and there's a lot of funny moments in there and a lot of funny moments that kids can relate to I mean we were in a theater with a couple of other uh, kids and adults and you know we got chuckles out of both sections of the audience so yeah. it's really good really relatable um, and visually it's a really stunning movie too I mean this movie also came out in 3d I didn't see the 3D version. I'm not too much of a fan of it, uh -huh. but from what I hear, this 3D movie is actually really good. Because you know, really? 3D can can be done pretty poorly. Right, right. Uh, but I've heard nothing but good things about the 3D version of this movie. So, yeah. really happy about this movie. So, out of five stars, what are you giving it? I'm giving it five stars. Look it at is that. the perfect family movie. Yeah. Not just family. Even if you're you know, like me, a 25-year-old male, you can watch this movie by yourself and, <laughs> and still, still be entertained, it. right? Exactly, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, five stars out of five stars. Mm -hmm. So go and check out that movie. 